our next speaker will tie this issue of pesticides, herbicides being used in forestry with forest practices themselves and how it's even getting into our government-run forests, not just the privately owned timber forest. That speaker is from Forest Web of Cottage Grove. Good afternoon. My name is Christina Hubbard, and I am the project director for Forest Web of Cottage Grove. I am not a good speaker and a writer, and I'm much more comfortable with paper than I am with words. And knowing I was going to be following Roy and Day today uh, to extremely talk about I decided to um, share the words of someone far more eloquent and wise than myself. The following is from a Sand County Almanac by Aldo Leopold. His views on nature and wildlife preservation, emphasizing biodiversity and ecology, have a profound effect on the environmental movement by giving us a land ethic. To quote Mr. Leopold, all ethics so far evolved rest upon a single premise, that the individual is a member of a community of interdependent parts. The land ethic simply enlarges the boundaries of the community to include soils, waters, plants, and animals, or collectively, the land. This sounds simple. Do we not already sing our love for and obligation to the land of the free and the home of the brave? Shout it. Yes, but what, just what and whom do we love? Certainly not the soil which we are sending helter-skelter downriver. Certainly not the waters which we assume have no function except to turn turbines, float barges, and carry off sewage. Certainly not the plants of which we exterminate whole communities without batting an eye. And certainly not the animals of which we have already extirpated many of the largest and most beautiful species. A land ethic, of course, cannot prevent the alteration, management, and use of these resources, but it does affirm their right to continued existence, and at least in spots, their continued existence in a natural state. In short, a land ethic changes the role of homo sapiens from conqueror of the land community to plain member and citizen of it. It implies respect for its fellow members and also respect for the community as such. This land ethic, Aldo Leopold wrote about in 1949, must be applied to the discussion of Oregon's forests today. In the past, past few months, Forest Web has been working on a campaign to engage the community in the comment process for the BLM's new resource management plan. This plan will determine how 2.6 million acres of Oregon's own sea lands will be managed with regard to timber production, endangered species, recreation, habitat preservation, and water quality. There are many who want to see these forests turned over to private concerns and managed as tree farms. The Oregon State Legislature recently passed a memorial that demands the federal government give up control of these forests. This bill was voted for by all but three state senators and ten state representatives, a vote that claims to represent the will of the Oregon people. Peter DeFazio has legislation in Congress now which if passed will weaken federal environmental protections and turn almost 70% of these forests over to harvesting. Conservation groups throughout Oregon are working together to raise awareness on this critical issue. In our own comments to the BLM, Forest Web demanded to end clear cut harvests and a ban on herbicide spraying. We recommended alternative economic solutions for our county's financial crisis and stressed the need for legislation to overturn the 1937 ONC Act which mandates these forests be managed as timber plantations. Though the comment deadline for the scoping ended on July 5th, we are still keeping the dialogue alive with an online petition. This petition supports the protection and restoration of the Owens and Forest Lands and will be sent to the BLM, Senators Weidman, Mercury, and Governor Kitzhaber. It asks for the following. One, shift BLM priorities toward forest and watershed restoration. Two, achieve economic objectives through restoration activities. Three, collaborate with communities to develop forest management and recreation opportunities. Four, 
to preserve the remaining old forests and restore Oregon's iconic salmon runs. And five, ensure these remain public forests managed under federal environmental safeguards. We need the people of Oregon to continue raising their voices, not only for the future of the Owen Sealands, but for the state forests as well, which suffer from the current planning and management policies, and for all the forests of Oregon. We need to participate in the creation of a new vision of forest management built on a true land ethic, one that focuses on the health of our forests and not on the sustained amount of board sheep to be harvested. In closing, I will return to the wise words of Aldo Leopold. We abuse the land because we regard it as a commodity belonging to us. When we see the land as a community to which we belong, we may begin to use it with love and respect. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. I am Neela Rose. I am your friend. I am your daughter. I am your sister. I am your mother. I am your student. I am your teacher. I am your neighbor. I am the neighbor of all of you. I am the neighbor of Alan Ford of Roseburg Timber Company. I am the neighbor of Warehouser, also a timber agency. I'm also the neighbor of Seneca Jones. Another timber agency. And I wish to be a good neighbor to all of my neighbors. And I hope, I have faith that also our brothers and sisters that work for Roseburg Timber, Seneca Jones, Warehouser, all of the various timber agencies and corporates that are poisoning us, they are also our brothers and sisters. And we have faith that they will make the right choices every day. From this day forward, all of us, when we wake up, before we speak, before we act, before we take action, let's make the right choice. Is this good for all? We're going to ask Alan Ford of Roseburg Timber Company, our brother, when he wakes up in the morning, before he takes action, before he makes a word, is this good for all? So this is what our goal is, is that every day, each and one of us, each of, every one of us as brothers and sisters to each other on this planet, that we make the right choices every day that we ask, is this good for all? I am also a recovering victim of aerial spray. I've been sprayed many times now, on and off for the last seven years. And because of the glory of nature and of the goodness of this planet, I have been able to heal myself from the chemicals that we have been exposed to. And it's because of nature, it's because of pure water, it's because of pure air, it's because of pure food that we have the opportunity to heal ourselves. So let's protect that which is pure, our air. Let's protect that which is pure, our water. Let's protect that which is pure, our earth. Please make the right choices for yourself, for your children, for your family, for your planet. And please go organic. Let's make Oregon the first organic state. Let's be an example for the United States. Oregon organic. As our United States becomes organic, our world becomes organic. I'm here today because of love. Because I love life, I love you, I love my children, I love my family, I love all of you. I love this planet, thank you. Love you more. Thank you. And I just wish for that love to just grow. 
I'm a peacemaker. I work for peace. My mission is peace. And I hope for peace for all of you. Peace for our world. It starts with yourself. Peace with your body. Peace with your mind. Peace with your community. Peace with your earth. Peace with your ancestors. Peace with your creator. Peace with you all. Bless you all. Thank you. And unless I'm mistaken, that was our final speaker and we're ready to shake our booties in the sunshine with another set of awesome reggae music. And yet, if you have not yet personally, if you have not yet personally signed one of these coupons, please do it. The governor's going to experience having an avalanche of these coupons coming into his mailbox if you will help us. Thank you. Here comes Soul Seed, Eugene's finest reggae band. Thank you.
honor to be playing for all y'all right now. Saturday Market. This is what's up. <laughs> this next one is a collection of songs by our brother Frankie Hernandez. We got Bob Marley, Michael Franny, System of a Down, a whole lot of good music, so hope you enjoy. Oh,
Stand up for the right of the Get on, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Get on, stand up. Give up for your right. Stand up for your right. Just don't give up the fight. Get up, stand up. Keep moving on. Don't give up the fight. documentary. Uh, it's available for free on the internet. Uh, you go to thrivemovement.com. Uh, the documentary is called Thrive, and uh, it talks about everything we're talking about here today. Everything from the corruption of Monsanto, the use of subversive authority in our public schools. It, all of it just was no damage, so I really encourage you to go check that out. Educate yourselves as much as you can for as many different sources as possible, and make your own opinions and your own decisions. So we're gonna keep playing music. We are so seated right here from Eugene, Oregon. Bring it down, bring it down for a second. And uh, this one is written with the with the power of the ocean in mind. So I hope you feel the weight.
Love yourself, everyone. 